हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 327 एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द वॉल माउंटेड 2.5 केजी लाइट फिक्सचर्स हैज इट्स मास सेंटर एट जी राइट सो वी हैव दिस लाइट फिक्सचर एंड इट हैज इट्स मास सेंटर जी लोकेटेड हेयर राइट सो In this problem, we are asked to determine the reactions at A and B, and also calculate the moment supported by the adjustment thumb screw at C. Right. So here we have adjustment thumb screw. So we have to find the moment supported by this adjustment thumb screw. And note that the lightweight frame A B C has about uh, 250 mm of horizontal tubing directed into and out of the paper at both A and B. Right. So this Uh, this tubing is inside this page as well, right? Inside the screen as well, right? So it is given that this frame is distributed throughout inside this page and outside this page, right? So the let's say that if if this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction, so this means that the frame A B C is about 250 mm of horizontal tubing uh, inside and outside along the z axis, right? So this is the length. along the z axis is right now we have to find the reactions at a and b so first we have to draw the reaction so at a we will have two reactions so let's say that in this direction we have a x reaction and let's say that at this particular point we have a y reaction as well right so let's say that this is that a y reaction and similarly at b we will have only one reaction and let's say that that reaction is acting in the negative x direction right this is my positive x and y right so let's say that this is b x and the weight of this uh, light will be acting downward at its center of gravity right so let's say that this is the center of gravity so let's say that this is the weight of this light right and the magnitude of this weight is since this light is a uh, 2.5 kg right so this will be 2.5 into 9.81 right so this is the weight so first we have to find these reactions so let's say that if if we apply this condition that the summation of moment at point a is equal to 0 right so since we are finding the moment at point a so then these reactions will not produce any mom moment about this point a right so only this bx and this weight is producing the moment about a and let's say that counter clockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this bx is producing clockwise moment about this a so i will write that this is minus bx and the perpendicular distance of this bx from a is 230 mm right so i will write 230 and as we can see that this weight the weight of this light is producing counter clockwise moment about a right so i will write plus and this will be 2.5 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point a is 200 plus 3 uh, 200 plus 100 right so overall this is 300 so this will be equal to 0 so this will give us bx so bx will be equal to this will be minus 2.5 into 9.81 into 300 divided by minus 230 so this will give us bx so let me calculate this so this comes out to be 31.98 which is approximately 32 uh, newtons right so this is bx now to find the ax and ay components so let's say that if i apply the summation of forces along x axis is equal to 0 right so as we can see that only ax and bx are acting along x right so ax is in the positive x direction so i will write ax and bx is in the negative x so i will write minus bx this is equal to 0 so th from this equation we can conclude that ax is equal to bx and just we have calculated that b x is 32 newton right so this is 32 newtons similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so now as we can see that this ay is acting in the positive y direction so i will write ay minus this weight is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus right so this is minus 2.5 into 9.81 so this means that 
the a y reaction will be equal to the weight of the light right so this is equal to the weight which is 2.5 into 9.81 this is 24.5 newtons now in this problem we are also asked to calculate the moment supported by the adjustment thumb screw at c right so we have to find the moment at this particular point c so let's say that uh, we isolate this uh, light and this thumb screw right so this assembly from the whole assembly right so let me isolate this system right now we are considering this as a free body diagram right so what we have to do is that we have to find this moment at point c let's say that this is my moment at point c this is moment at c so we are asked to find this moment uh, the moment supported by this adjustment thumb screw right so we have to find that supported moment at point c so now let's say that if we apply the summation of moment at point c equals to zero right so now and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so this weight is producing counterclockwise moment about this point c right so that moment will be positive and this will be 2.5 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from this point c is this 100 mm right so i will multiply this with 100 right and as we can see that uh, the direction that we have assumed for mc is clockwise right so this is let's say minus so we will add this up so this will be equal to zero so this means that mc will be equal to this moment right so this will be 2.5 into 9.81 into 100 so let me calculate so this comes out to be 2452.5 and this is in newton mm right remember we have used this in mm right so this will be in newton mm and the direction of this is clockwise remember the assumed direction was clockwise and the value of mc is positive right so we can say that our assumed direction is the correct direction right and if you want to have this in newton mm so we have to divide this value by 1000 right so if we divide this by 1000 so then we will get 2.45 newton meter and clockwise so this is the solution of this particular problem